All right. So, okay, now that we're done. All right, so the timer pretty much starts at this point. Uh, we have five minutes to get to Cap... Ugh, not Captains, Commander Aegis. We have five minutes to get to Commander Aegis at Skyloft. And if you don't remember who Cap... Oh, my gosh. If you don't remember who Commander Aegis was, he is the guy in the sparring hall. Now, the game is actually very generous for giving us five minutes to get to him. Technically, I could go fly around to other islands, open some guys' chests, you know, walk around Skyloft, and I would still be able to get the hot soup to him. Uh, after five minutes, the soup gets cold, and you will have failed the side quest. Then you would have to go back to the Lumpy Pumpkin, probably, in order to get the soup again. Uh, I don't really know what happens if you don't get the soup to Captain Commander Aegis after five minutes. Um, I've never really failed at that. It's really not hard at all. It's much easier than the whole big Goron sword side quest that was given to us in the Ocarina of Time. But that's a whole nother game. Anyway, I think we made it pretty much in one minute. So, <laughs> four minutes of spare. You could just practice here in the sparring call for four minutes. But we're going to go talk to him. And there we go. He can smell the soup on us. What a creep. <laughs> yes, give it to me! He's like addicted to the soup or something. And I don't even understand, why couldn't Nintendo do the animation for the chugging of the soup properly? It just looks like he's not drinking any of it and all of a sudden it's just gone. Anyway, now that we've given him the hot soup, uh, if we head back to the Lumpy Pumpkin, the owner will be happy that we were able to complete the quest, but he will also ask us to do a couple more jobs for him. And since we really... Since I don't need to do those jobs at the moment, and since we won't be able to do a few of them until later on in the game, I'm going to reserve those side quests, I mean those extra jobs, and the rest of the side quests for later on. So, for the time being, the Lumpy Pumpkin is going to be left alone. We've taken care of everything that we can at the Lumpy Pumpkin, so... We'll see it in probably a couple episodes from now. Maybe not a couple episodes, but much later from now, anyway. Anyway, here's Cowlin. He's just talking about how Groose is upset. And how we're responsible for Zelda missing. Yeah, right. Anyway, the reason why I'm in here in the... Well, I'm trying to find my room and I can't remember where it is. There it is. The reason why I'm here is to go to sleep. In order to continue the Kakil side quest, we need to make it nighttime. And unfortunately, unlike Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, and even Majora's Mask or Twilight Princess, the only way to make it nighttime in this game is to actually take a nap. Uh, unlike the other Zelda games, this game, Skyward Sword is taking place pr pretty much in perpetual daytime. Unless you take a nap. Uh, there is no daytime transition in this game at all. And you really are only able to travel during the daytime on your loft wing. You cannot fly to the other islands at night. And you cannot fly to the surface. Or fly down to the surface at night. So in a way, the, this game is pretty limited with the day-night contrast. I think Nintendo is just doing that to make the locations more vibrant. But it would have been nice if Nintendo was able to... Well, Nintendo, if Nintendo allowed us to travel in the locations at night, it feels kind of like an add-on to the rest of the game. And that somewhat upsets me, but at the same time I kind of forget about it because this game is large enough as it is. Anyway, Skyloft at night is a pretty interesting place. Uh, there are enemies around, but the enemies that you will face are basically Chew, Jellies, and Keese. Of course, you will also face those cat things again, like the cat lemurs. Alright, there we go. See? There are the Chew guys and the Keese. Really annoying. Not, not any problem. And here's the cat lemur thing. So strike it twice, it'll leave you alone. There's more than one of those guys around here. And, like the old man said in the Lumpy Pumpkin, he saw that the monster was taking Kakil through the graveyard to a shed. And he said that the shed could only be opened by hitting 
the gravestone. Where's this graveyard? Oh, here it is. By hitting the gravestone closest to the tree and then pushing it. So this is the closest gravestone. It lights up and let's push it. Hey, what do you know? The old man was right. I think people should learn a lesson from this. The elderly still have a use. Their stories are not false. They're, they're not fabrications. They are very wise. Okay, I'm going to stop with that. Uh, the elderly are very useful, and they are very wise. Respect your elders. That's basically all I'm saying. Mr. Waluigi Walkthrough, teaching you lessons every day. <laughs> anyway, we heard some screaming in here. And what is this? It's a demon! Well, here you go, you guys. This is the final boss of Skyward Sword. I'm just kidding. Ha! <laughs> How cool would that be if that was like the final boss of Skyward Sword? He was sitting in the house all along. Anyway, seems like he's not really that bad of a guy. Or a demon. He's not that bad of a demon. Just imagine saying that to someone. Anyway, his name is Betro. Not Betroix. I believe it's French. Well, I'm pretty sure it's French based off the spelling, so it's Betro. Get it? Because it's Bat. Oh, it's just a French, I think. I digress. You know, I don't understand these people with Skyloft. They think that this guy's creepy? They think this guy's scary? I don't think he's that scary. He actually looks like he has a soft and gentle face. He has kind eyes. Man, those wings are so inviting. And those red horns. Man, he looks so cuddly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. He's going to introduce us to the idea of Gratitude Crystals. Gratitude Crystals are the formation of gratitude in a physical object, I don't know. And then you are only able to get them if you make people happy. And apparently if we give him enough Gratitude Crystals, he'll turn into a human. And, he said also, by other than helping people, we can obtain gratitude crystals by picking them up if they are just lying around. Uh, you will only be able to obtain the gratitude crystals that are just lying around during the night. Um, during the day, you cannot see them, you cannot find them, they're just not there. Anyway, over here is Kakil! Seems like Kakil and this guy have been playing screaming contests. Ah, there we go, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night. <laughs> well, that's a little throwback to the original Zelda game. Anyway, for now, we can't really do anything and help Batro, but now that we've found Kakil, I think we can go tell her mother that everything's going to be alright. So, let's head back to Skyloft Night Academy so we can sleep in our bed until the morning. If only people could climb a ladder like that in real life. You know, this game would have been so... This game would have been really interesting to see it at night. I mean, imagine us walking around Farron Woods at night time. It would have been pretty cool, but... You know... It's Nintendo's decision that they made. It's... It's, uh, never mind. And that stupid keys had to run away from me. Anyway, let's head inside the Nat Night Academy. The Nat Academy? I'm training to become a gnat. Oh, look who it is. It's our good old friend. Oh, man, I'm blanking. Pippet. Yeah, it's Pippet. <laughs> Due to your job. Do 
So if you couldn't guess by now, based off of those answers, um, mm -hmm. seems like Pippet has a night job. Interesting. Well, I guess we won't really learn more about that until later, but it's interesting for now. Seems like Pippet needs some money. Anyway, now that we're in the Knight Academy, or the Nat Academy, because apparently that's what they're training all, all these kids to be, or Nats. It's always good to have a Nat in the face of danger. Anyway, now that we're in good old Link, Nat Link's uh, room, let's go sleep until morning. Alright, so now that it's morning, and we are able to walk around, let's go talk to Kakil's mother. Sorry I'm not really talking. Well, anyway, um, what should I talk about? Well, I guess, uh... I should just say this right now, I haven't really been able to record a whole lot of my break from school. Um, of course it's been winter break for me for the past couple weeks, and now now that the winter break is coming to an end, I only have like two days left before school starts up again. Or college starts up again, I'm, it's school nonetheless. Um, I'm gonna try to take care of a lot of recording today, so I'm not really trying to waste my voice in a way. I'm, just trying to preserve it, make sure it just stays active. I don't know, I, I'm not making any sense right now. But anyway, over here, past the bridge. Wait, no, it's not past the bridge. It's over here. It's his very first house over here. This is Kakil's house. And inside should be, yep, there we go. So let's talk to Kakil's mother. So she has no way to express her gratitude. And of course, people in Skyloft, the only way that they can express their gratitude is to have magical crystals shoot out of their heads. You know, that happens with everyone. Now, yeah, you know, when I do my chores, my mom just gets all excited and gratitude crystals come out of her head. That'd be really weird. <laughs> anyway, um, for every person we help, we will get five gratitude crystals. And if we collect enough, uh, we'll be able to get some nice prizes from Betro. Um, so this ends the Kakil side quest, and this actually makes a perfect transition for me to go to the new location. So I'll save and see you guys there.